Hello, and welcome to a Caliber how-to video guide. In this tutorial, we will look at a solution for managing multiple Caliber physical and circuit verification jobs. As the IC industry moves forward, more and more verification jobs and flows are needed to be run as part of the sign-off process. Managing all the various verification jobs and subflows is getting increasingly complex and expensive. Caliber Interactive adds in multiple job submission graphical user interface, a powerful solution that empowers designers to seamlessly add, submit, and monitor multiple Caliber physical and circuit verification jobs. Let's take a look at an example. I've already added some jobs that I need in my sign-off flow. I have multiple DRC jobs an LVS job, and a perk job. All the jobs that I have in the queue will get submitted in the order that they are listed in, starting from the top and working its way down. If I want to change this order, I can simply click and drag a job to its new position. Before submitting, we want to add one more job to the list. This can be done by clicking the plus icon to add a new job. I will add an XRC job to our queue by selecting an existing PEX run set. We set the flow to PEX. We can give the job a custom name to make it easier to identify in the list. Then, in the Run Set field, we specify an XRC Run Set. It is best to keep every run directory in separate locations to avoid any data being overwritten. If I want to make any detailed edits to the job, I can launch the full Caliber Interactive View right from the MGS GUI by clicking the Edit button. Any changes made here will not overwrite the original run set that the job is based on, but rather will be saved in a temporary run set file that is tied to the job's setup file. We can save a job setup file by clicking File and Save Job Setup. This way, we will have a way to capture the work we have done for the next MJS GUI session or to run the setup in batch mode. We are now ready to submit our jobs. We want to limit the amount of parallel DRC jobs to run only three at a time. This way, we don't check out more licenses than we have available to us. We can control that by expanding the submission settings and setting the number of parallel jobs option to run per flow. Let's set the number of parallel DRC jobs to three. We only have one of each job for the other flows. Therefore, one job at a time per each flow is okay for this example. If we had more jobs, we would set the parallel job settings in accordance with the number of licenses we'd like to check out for each flow. Each job that is checked in the queue will be run. We can select all jobs or a subset of jobs to run. The jobs will be run with the run settings stored in the run set for each individual job. This, of course, can be changed on an individual job basis by clicking the edit button as discussed earlier. As the jobs are submitted, we can see the status of each of them. They will be either not running, which means they are waiting to be submitted, running, succeeded, or failed. When a job is running, we can select on it to monitor its transcript. We can also see any errors or warnings for it as well. We also get an overview transcript below. When a job is successful, we can go back to the details pane and click Start RVE to view the results database. The multiple job submission GUI makes the process of managing multiple verification flows and viewing the results much easier. Thank you for watching this how-to video guide.